Do you know how agents remember important details and how MEM0 works with AI agents as a memory layer? So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's Queue and let's create our 10th AI agent that add memory layer to our AI agents to remember every important detail in conversations and help us creating better chatbots using MEM0 library. Here is the short demo of the project. As you see, I am providing my details to the chatbot and when I am asking back the info about me, it answers really well and correct because MEM0 is working behind that, is storing the info in its database as, as you see in this MEM0 platform. So let's build this project. First, let me tell you what is MEM0. So MEM0 is as it enhances the AI assistants or the AI agents with the intelligent memory layer that enabling personalized AI interactions because it remembers user preferences, adapts to individual needs and continuously learns over time ideal for customer support chatbots. And it can also work for AI agents and autonomous systems as well. And the core capabilities of MEM0 are it has multi-level memory that seamlessly retain users, sessions and agents stay with uh, state with adaptive personalization it has developer friendly uh, intuitive api building support that can uh, help us to build cross platform sdks and fully managed service option as well and you can install it by using just pip install mem0 ai in python and start working with it as well now get all the prerequisites of this projects yes get them all and listen and learn carefully First, you need to know about the AI agents, what are they, how they work and what are the agentic design patterns. You have to watch my these two videos of AI agents to get yourself familiar with AI agent workflows and designs. After all this is done, let's create our 10th AI agent that can add memory to your AI agents as well. Oh guys, so here is my code of the memory AI agent in which we implement the memory layer to our AI agents as well. In this project, I am using the two agentic AI framework. First is Autogen and second is Agno. Autogen is for our conversational chatbot and Agno for our web search AI agent as well. Okay, so first we need the MEM0 uh, API here because we need that for our memory layer. Then we need our Google API key to access our Gemini models. And then we have to set up the LLM configurations here for our Autogen AI agent. Okay, so for that, first I set my user ID here. Then I uh, initialize my memory client that will store and search for our memories in the memory layer. And then we create our conversational bot here with the name, with the system message, along with our large language model configurations as well. Okay, and in that way, it will try to be a conversational bot for us by using Gemini 2.0 flash live language model. And then with the help of uh, Agno, we create our web search AI agent that will search on the web for us by using the DuckDuckGo tools. Okay, and after that, we create our stream read UI here. And uh, then whenever a user asks for any kind of a question, so that's where our memory layer works in. It first search in the memory if that uh, question is already been asked in the past or like uh, what is the like context of that uh, question as well it try to search in the memory if any relevant memories are found then from those relevant memories only the past se uh, like uh, seven day memories are fetched because those are the latest memories as well and based on that it will try to build a memory context for you and for that memory context it will use our customer bot ai agent to generate the response for you on the latest time okay and if the our chatbot don't know about any uh, particular response or any particular question then we have some kind of a fallback phrases here as well you uh, by using these fallback phrases it try to go to the web search ai agent and generate a web search uh, response for us and we can use that web search response as our final response to the customer question okay on the base of that it will store the only important information in the memory like the customer personalized information like customer name has address his email id or like these kind of uh, personal nuance details only stored in the memory only all the chat of the customer are not stored in the uh, memory layer because that's not how this uh, mem0 library will work it will only store the uh, personalized info into the memory layer not all the generic uh, informations as well 
okay so that's how this uh, ai agent will work let's see how it work in the real time okay so this is the ui of our uh, memory agent uh, so let's ask about my some personal questions like uh, what is my youtube channel name because i already chat with it in the past so it knows that what i uh, actually chat with it as well so that's how it use it so you see it just say youtube channel name is free birds queue okay now let's ask some uh, like other informations as well like i live in uh, mumbai city and work in mnc company as well named as let's say xyz okay i stored it in now this if, uh, whole information is stored in the memory layer because they, this is something personal information to me and that's used for the personalization of chatbots as well okay now when i ask like where do i live and work so it will try to go there in the memory and try to use the conversational bot with the autogen to generate the uh, response for us okay you see that it is uh, generating you live in mumbai and work in mnc named company xyz okay so that's how this whole memory layer will work but what if uh, some questions are not known to the memory not known to the ai agents or not known to the large language models like uh, list the latest movies in bollywood so that's don't know okay that's a very uh, that's a very latest info right so it will try to now go for the web search ai agent and try to generate the best or uh, latest response for us okay so that's how this uh, uh, digital chatbot with memory and web search will work so as you see here it will uh, generate all the responses the rate to the kesari the sekandar every are the latest movies are there okay so that's how this uh, digital chatbot with memory layer will work if you want to see you can see that uh, i already only the uh, very good info is stored in the uh, mem0 layer like my name my youtube channel name my email id and these all the kind of things but every kind of chat every kind of request that you send is already shown in this layer that every question that you send is already stored there but what action that this mem0 layer will took it is shown here that it will only store the information where i talk about my uh, city or talk about my company as well that is added into the memory but every other information is not added into the memory as well you just see here not other info because that other info is not the very per personalized information as well okay so that's how this uh, uh, memory ai agent will work okay and uh, in our next video we'll uh, build an ai agent that do the web scrapping for you it it can scrap images links jobs and uh, it can scrap anything for you from the web by using the firecrawl api and we can make the excel sheets out of it by using the composio api as well okay so just be with it and if you want to know more about the generative ai prompt generating data science machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in the next video thank you guys thank you so much